Every time we document a previously completely unknown discovery in the universe, we add another important piece of the puzzle to the overall picture of our galactic home. Some sensational discoveries, however, do not deepen or broaden current scientific knowledge, but throw them completely into chaos. Thus, a recently published realization caused researchers to completely reconsider the history of our homeland galaxy, the Milky Way. These unbelievable phenomena and how they led, many billions of years ago, to how the Milky Way exists today in its characteristic form is the topic of the following video. As always, we hope you have a lot of fun with this interesting topic. Are you interested in more exciting videos on the topic of the universe? Then subscribe to Simply Space to frequently learn more about the amazing spectacles in our galaxy and beyond. If you like the content of our videos, show us with a thumbs up. After our video today, feel free to take a look at the other interesting posts on our channel that we've linked for you in the credits. The Milky Way, our fascinating home galaxy. Like virtually all known celestial bodies and structures in the universe, the Milky Way's name has its roots in the world of mythology. The ancient Greeks believed that the bright, spiral-shaped structure in the firmament was the result of a divine story. According to the legend, Zeus, the ruler of the gods, once brought his son Hercules to his wife Hera so that the little demigod would drink from his stepmother's milk. Hera herself, however, was asleep at the time and was startled when little Hercules drank from her breast. A jet of mother's milk is said to have poured out over the starry sky and formed that cosmic structure which we have always called the Milky Way. Not only from a mythological, but also from a scientific point of view, the intertwined, barred spiral galaxy inspires many minds. If you look at our home galaxy through a telescope, you can see the thousands of stars that ignite the shimmering silver bands of the Milky Way. However, this is only a very small part of the total dimension of the fascinating structure. Current estimates suggest that the barred spiral galaxy is home to no less than 500 billion stars. As we all know, this includes the Sun, which provides our Earth and the surrounding planets with necessary energy every day. What also distinguishes the Milky Way optically are the countless dust and gas clouds that block many a celestial body from view. The cosmic nebulae can only be visually penetrated with the help of ultra-modern radio telescopes. This is also true for the center of our home galaxy, which is located in the constellation Sagittarius. This natural circumstance gives the impression that some parts of the Milky Way seem to be married by a gaping void. However, these are in fact only gigantic, dark clouds of dust obscuring stars behind them, not voids at all. Our blue home planet is in the midst of the Milky Way, so it's naturally not possible for us to look at the gigantic total construct from an outside perspective. Cosmic fate was quite benevolent with the spatial position of our planetary system within the Milky Way. We're at the edge of the barred spiral galaxy, enabling us to see the majority of the Milky Way stars. Bulges, Magnitude, and Origin That bright, central area of a galaxy, which outshines everything else in its environment, is called a bulge in the scientific community. If another galaxy is very far away from our terrestrial home, we often only see the bulge of the galactic structure. In the past, our knowledge about the nature of the spiral galaxy centers was extended significantly. Nowadays, researchers agree that there is a black hole inside most of the bulges. According to current findings, this is also the case with our Milky Way. The total diameter of the Milky Way is estimated to be between 170,000 and 200,000 light years. The thickness of our home galaxy, including the bulge in the center, is about 15,000 light years. According to current estimates, the mass of the Milky Way is 1.5 trillion times the mass of our Sun. To visualize these gigantic but sometimes somewhat abstract dimensions, it helps to imagine the Milky Way as a snow flurry about 6 miles in diameter. 
Each snowflake, of which there would be about one per 10 cubic feet, would be a star. Our sun, which in our minds has always seemed like a gigantic celestial body dwarfing everything, would be in this diagram just the size of a microscopic virus. As is well known, the universe originated about 13.8 billion years ago. It's assumed that our home galaxy formed in the early days of the primeval universe. How exactly the formation process of the Milky Way took place and which circumstances ultimately led to the fact that the barred spiral galaxy got its characteristic form is still hotly discussed in the ranks of experts. A recently published article suggests that the Milky Way has participated in the past in an extraordinary cosmic spectacle that leaves us in pure amazement. The Collision of the Milky Way with a Dwarf Galaxy If one believes the insight of researchers at the Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute and their colleagues at Queen's University, then the center of the Milky Way collided with another dwarf galaxy approximately 3 billion years ago. Experts arrived at this groundbreaking realization when they noticed striking shell structures in our homeland galaxy. In the astronomical context, these are always formed when a large galaxy collides with a much smaller one. As a result of this cosmic collision, the stars of the smaller galaxy are eventually attracted by the enormous forces, ultimately arranging themselves into long strings of stars, which curve into the halo of the larger galaxy. The term halo, in turn, describes a spherical zone surrounding the actual galaxy. The shell structure mentioned here means in the reverse conclusion that the attracted stars of the smaller galaxy ultimately form an arc, or in other words, a galactic shell around the larger galaxy. This phenomenon has been reconstructed in some other galaxies. Because of our location within the Milky Way, however, it was not possible until recently for us to cement such findings in our home galaxy as well. Researcher Robin Sanderson originally studied the galactic shell structures of other galaxies to gain important insights into the properties of dark matter. While the expert's original work did not lead to success, Sanderson's research nevertheless paved the way for the groundbreaking discovery just described. The methods developed by the scientists were excellently suited for studying the mass and density distribution of a galaxy. The experts' practices would eventually be applied to the essential data that ESA's Gaia Space Telescope has been transmitting to Earth for several years. Specifically, the technical equipment is a state-of-the-art space probe equipped with the most complex measuring instruments of our time, with the goal of mapping our sky in incomparable detail and in three dimensions. The accuracy with which Gaia has studied about 1% of all Milky Way stars is unparalleled in the world of modern astronomical research. The Shell Structures in Our Home Galaxy With the help of this information and Sanderson's previous investigations, experts have now managed to prove the existence of no less than four of these impressive shell structures in our home galaxy. Two of the cosmic structures could be located in the so-called Virgo overdensity and two in the Hercules Aquila cloud. The corresponding shell patterns were then studied in a special modeling procedure, in the course of which experts were able to gather important information about the time of the galaxy collision that ultimately led to the formation of the uniquely arranged stellar structures. The scientists came to the conclusion that the corresponding dwarf galaxy must have passed through the center of the Milky Way about 2.7 to 3 billion years ago. It has been known for some time that spherical galaxies, in particular, have pronounced shell structures. In the case of spherical galaxies, however, the said structures have other optical characteristics, which is why researchers have not been able, in the past, to locate comparable objects in our home galaxy and to weave them into a higher-level, interpretive context. On the one hand, this is due to the fact that our spatial position within the Milky Way means that we only have a very specific, sometimes limited, field of view of the overall nature of our galactic home. At the same time, because the Milky Way is known to be a disc-shaped barred spiral galaxy and not a spherical structure, the shell structures in our cosmic realm are somewhat different from the shell patterns already discovered in other galaxies. The knowledge gained is now helping experts to look at the unique nature of the Milky Way in a completely new light. 
In this way, important conclusions about the exact results of galaxy collisions will be drawn over the course of further investigations. This information, in turn, could enable predictions about the effects of future galaxy collisions. Sanderson compares her further investigations with the work of a galactic archaeologist. Accordingly, now the task is to take an even closer look at the individual structures and formations within the Milky Way, and then to reconstruct the histories of the origins of these breathtaking objects. Thus, innumerable puzzle pieces wait to be put together one day by humans to reveal a total picture of our homeland galaxy. What do you think about the breathtaking shell structures in the Milky Way? Feel free to write your thoughts, your suggestions, as well as your feedback on today's video in the comments. Thanks so much for watching, take care, and we'll see you next time.